play after me. rhythm. going to do the E minor and the B7 twice as fast. So it's going to be two bars, two bars of E minor and two bars of B7. C 
six. E minor six. Now this is C diminished. E minor six. Going back up. E minor six. Just changing the rhythm. C diminished seven. E minor six on C sharp. C diminished. S Back to E minor six. share a concept with you. Shake it out. I'm going to share this concept about playing on front of the beat and playing behind the beat because you might like it either way. So if you just listen, you hear, you can try to determine whether this is on front or on the, on the back of the beat. on the front playing triplets. Now I'm going to play on the front playing double time. front of the beat playing putting eight in the space of six or putting six in the space of six right now i'm gonna play behind the beat first i'll start behind the beat with double time so playing eighth notes <laughs> Behind the beat, playing with triplets. behind the beat on front of the beat and also the difference between fitting eight in versus playing the triplet 
Ya ja 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 So my bias is to advise people to practice playing more of the triplets before they go to the double time. And also to try to practice playing behind the beat. Because what I tend to find is that a lot of people that are starting out to play swing feel, coming from a classical background, they do both of these things. They play on top of the beat and they play double time. So they, And so I feel like it'll balance you out to try to do these other things. At the end of the day, it's your choice what you want to do. But yeah, so I want you to try that a little bit. Okay, so let me let me just show that one more time. So these are sixes. That's that's playing the triplet one one and a two and a three and a four and a. Now this is double time. That's the difference. As far as being able to hear the difference between playing on the front and behind, behind the beat, that might be hard to do. But the easiest way to practice it would be play in front. Like literally playing before the downbeat, right? Now I'm gonna play behind it. So it takes time to learn that. But I just wanted to share that with you so that you could, you guys could work on that over this uh, progression. I'm going to give you again four bars on E minor, four bars on B7. Here you go. One, two, and three, and four, and... Two. 